everybody and welcome to a new GM mode video. Today we are going to be going through the free agent market. We've gotten some pretty good suggestions and I think we're going to see what we can do. So first let me just bring up the free agent market. Now I've got two comments to shout out to Zane Haynes. Take their base asking price and multiply it by 0.85 to get the lowest amount of money that they'll sign for. So if there's not a team interested, I could try that out. I don't want to risk it too much right away. I can test it more later but we're gonna start and we're gonna definitely appreciate the suggestion and we're gonna take that into consideration Cherno Stenmark Okafor says yes sign Alec Martinez in uh, response to me asking if I should in the last video to play in my top six instead of Falk because Falk had a horrid horrid season also sort by potential and sign some forward and defensive prospects because those are things you're gonna be that I lack I might also want to consider trading Backstrom for a young defenseman like Cam Fowler or Oliver Ekman Larson. Trade values might be a bit high, but I'm sure I could throw in some draft picks if I want to make it go through. Or if I want a two way defenseman, maybe somebody like Hampus Lindholm, Jake Gardner, Dougie Hamilton, just to name a few. But I definitely feel like I need to add a young defensive prospect. My forward group looks amazing, and I should leave it the way it is. Thank you for the comment. I completely agree with you on that one, and I'm going to definitely at least try to sign Alec Martinez. I'm going to. Just kind of keep the the offer for now as as stands, and then we're going to he says trade Backstrom for a young offensive defenseman like Cam Fowler or Ekman Larson. I really am a fan of Cam Oliver, so I'm going to hopefully be able to get a guy like Cam Fowler. Now I haven't tested this before, so this is going to all be live, and you're gonna see my struggles pretty short, you know, pretty quickly. I'm surprised that Cam Fowler's trade value is as low as it is, to be honest with you, and I believe I'm going to have to throw in a goalie just because, and they want to give this guy away, so that benefits us as well. Uh, let's give up our next year's first-round pick and see. No, that's not going to go through. So let's give up Backstrom. Too many goalies. Okay, it has to be a goalie that is in their contract. So let's take Bureau. I'm quite far off in trade value based on what I'm offering, so let's give up, maybe we can throw in Justin Falk, or let's just see who meets their 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 trademark. I don't really want to give up any of these guys, although a guy, like if I'm going to sign Martinez for a good contract, a guy like Brodziak is not a defenseman, so that's not going to work, obviously. Um, let's just throw in Falk and see what happens. I really am kind of hoping to be able to get this going. I'm... Um, aren't where I need to be in valued and value okay so let's just see what they want from me they really want people that I'm not willing to give up unfortunately but enough draft picks will shut them up I'm sure there you go so I'm okay with that to be honest with you because a guy like Cam Fowler is going to help us very much in the long term and we got rid of Backstrom and I really like that suggestion to be honest so I thank you immensely for that and then I'm going to he says sort by potential and get some young guys that we need for young prospects. So I'm going to actually look for people just real quick while I scroll through through here to see if I um, see anybody that I recognize. Let's get out of this Red Star category, though. There's really not a lot of potential at all coming from the, the market here, unfortunately, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, there's three-star gold, three-star green, so that's like, you know, pretty set in stone green. And, I mean, the best three and a half, really, I mean, there's two gold. So, I mean, I I might as well sign these guys to two-way contracts and then definitely see where I can go from here. Minor league score. I could use a guy like Drayson Bowman in my defensive or in my minor league core, I think. I'm going to – let's see what kind of goalies we can find here as well. Here's a good 20-year-old goalie. Let's pick up him. Let me sign two. Let's just kind of advance a day. I got rid of Falk, so I should have... No, I we evened out in terms of uh, roster space. So I'm hoping that I have enough roster space to sign these guys. So I had to go with another team. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Hopefully we can at least get Martinez, because then we might have a seventh man. Extremely happy to accept my offer. Extremely happy. After much deliberation, he has decided to accept my offer. So that's going to be pretty good. I don't really see anybody else that's worth signing to be honest i mean there's really bad potential here for this being the free agent market i mean i don't really 
I'm not really sure what's going on here, so I'm just kind of going to look for names that I recognize. Um, basically, just because I think it would be cool to have a guy that I see either in Milwaukee or a guy that I recognize from just being a hockey fan. Uh, I know Michael Adam, not Nicholas. So that's not going to work. Brian Flynn. Not, nope, not the guy that I think it was. We had a Ryan Flynn at one time in Milwaukee. Wonder what he's up to at the moment. Yeah, so it looks like that's kind of going to be it. And I don't really feel like signing a bunch of three-star guys. Um, like I said, if if we have now the seven defensemen that I believe we have, we can trade for some picks to use just as potential picks. I don't know necessarily if that's going to be a good plan, but I'm going to simulate through the rest of free agency. I really don't need anybody else, like they said in the comments, to get some prospects I could trade for some prospects depending upon how the season goes. I could trade for some prospects depending upon other factors. I could look for, you know, if if I got one star player with some decent potential that's just not doing it for me, I could definitely... Oh, Matt Halstruck would have been a good pickup. Uh, I didn't really need him, though. And then he's definitely not going to be good. Oh, Maxim Lapierre. That, geez, there's a lot of good guys I did kind of messed up on there. Uh, that's okay, though, because my forward crew is good. I mean, I put up 50 wins last season, and I'm upgrading my defense and giving the goalies time to shine. So I want to say that a 40-win season would would be what I'm shooting for. I think I can do better. I know I can do better. I'm going to sign a guy like Zach Boychuk, though, if he's still there, if he didn't just get signed. Yep. I think a minor league score like that would definitely be good. Uh, let's do a two-way. Let's just give him a good chunk of money. I mean, he's a good guy. He, I've seen him play quite a lot. I still don't get why he's uh, still in the minors and whatnot. Uh, let's pick up some defensemen, though. Let's see what kind of young defensemen we can get just in terms of to put in the minors just for some help. Minor League top two. Decent stats, to be honest. Uh, his awareness isn't too good. His shooting and skating skills are pretty good, though. He's fast. He's an offensive defense. I'm going to sign him for the minors. Let's just kind of see what he can do for us. And if he's going to grow, Davis Drewiski, I like. He's a Wisconsinite. Represent. Except I'm not going to have enough money to sign him, though. So that will be kind of unfortunate. But that's all right. We'll, we'll see what we can do. And that is going to complete the free agent market i'm going to simulate to the first game of the season and through the preseason reject my offer full roster i got boy chuck so that's going to be okay i don't necessarily guarantee that those two are going to get signed so i might be able to still pick them up in a bit because i don't really see too many names flying around off the top of the charts and the good news is broder and i really didn't read what's going on there uh, we should get free agent. Ah, uh, you can just kind of... I'll let him float. Uh, there's... Has been tendered an offer sheet. You have unnecessary salary cap retaining services based on the salary that I friend. I will not receive any compensation. I'm just going to... I'm going to let him go to New York. Uh, he's two and a half star gold, sure, but two and a half star. So, I'll let the Rangers take him. So then let's... We're, we're going to have to see what we can do. I'm going to simulate to the preseason and then uh, to the first day of the regular season. And then we're going to see what our starting laps look like. We're going to mix up the lines a little bit, see who we can look for trade value, who we can maybe trade in the midseason. I, I just said 40 wins too, so I think 40 wins out of us this year will be really good. And I think we'll get a lot out of it. Let's just kind of see what we can find here. I'm going to be wanting a lot of potential players, so hopefully there's some forwards or something. First round, we got a first round pick here, so let's just kind of update that and exit, see what we can do there. Here's a preseason game, preseason game. All right, so let's simulate to Sept or October 6th, rather, and let's see what the preseason looks like. This is with the computer making the lines, and this is with everybody else just kind of set in stone. Uh, bad first game. Good second game. Leonard's going to be the starting goalie, and I believe we have... Um, I forget his name as my backup. Haven't I have not played in a while. 
I've been busy making intros and great dubstep music. So hopefully you can browse my channel a little bit and kind of see some of that stuff. If you need an intro or some music made for you, just let me know. I'd be happy to help. Small feet. It is yours, team salary cap. I am okay in the salary cap. Waiver start on the 7th. So let's look at our lines and let's see what we're looking at. So let's just make sure that we have everybody in the NHL that we need on the NHL. Because that's always good news. If you got everybody that you need on the NHL team, then you're going to be a happy guy. So let's sort this out. Doomba, Bowman, signed him. Boychuk signed him. So we've got some definite scoring in Bowman and Boychuk. Top two left wing lines are going to be really strong this year. And then we've got Velo. Yeah, we've got a lot of left wings, though. So here's here's something we can do. We've got Bulmer, who's a fourth line grinder that should be in the NHL based on his role, but he's in the minor. So he's the guy that we can trade off in the season. Uh, we got a whole bunch of other guys that we can kind of look for. Here's a guy in the CHL. So definite people in here that we can trade. We got a lot of centers, a lot of left wings. We don't, I believe, have any right wings. We have one, two, three. So we have three right wieners. So we could trade for some minor league right wings, some prospect right wings, uh, see what we can do in terms of that. Uh, Justin or Jeff Schultz, let's take Jeff Schultz and swap him with Doomba. I want to give Doomba a shot because he had a really strong end to last season. And I still have Blum, that's good. Even though he's a minor league top two, I think if I have seven, like I believe I do, then we should be able to be okay with that. Uh, Cam Fowler was definitely a very good pickup for a goalie that I was kind of going to dump anyway. And like I said, I was okay giving up the first round pick because we're kind of going for the playoffs and we're going to go for the Stanley Cup this year. So that's going to be definitely very beneficial. So we've got Vanek and Pommenville. I'm going to keep this as is here. Cook, Coyle, Fontaine, Zucker, Brodziak, Haula. We've got a really strong offensive core. We really, really do, and I think that this is going to be a really good season for us offensively. And then defensively, you've got Fowler and Suter, Brodeen, Spurgeon, Scandella, Martinez. So I was right. We do have too many defensemen. Uh, we have seven, but that's okay, though, because then you get Doomba to kind of come off the bench and get some practice there, and he should be able to get some time in, some time out, and I think that that's actually going to be really good. Leonard Kemper. Leonard's an 87 overall. He's going to have a great 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 rookie year i think his stats are pretty good his puck control is not the best but his reflexes are incredible so i think we're going to have a very strong start to the season and i hope that you all can enjoy it with me like i said if you have any recommendations to line changes before i get started or trades that i can look for in the season what kind of a season do you guys want to see out of this minnesota wild team comment below like i said shout outs for every every single comment no matter what it is thank you all for watching and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.